Well, you guys, let me show you something that's crazy. It's supposed to be a boat there. Not even a boat. It's supposed to be a whole freaking, uh, I don't even know what it's called. But you guys, you guys have it on the stock motors. And it sticks out all the way. As you can see, that's not there. Thank goodness the threads are still good for some reason. I don't know how. They're decent. I really hope these threads in here are good. But yeah, this this is bad. Um, this is damaged as well. So yep, this is how my day is ending today. I put on the tow truck. You guys can't even see, but Dusty is on the tow truck. The tow truck curse, bro. The tow truck curse. Hope I don't get it. Hopefully it's the first and last time. The next morning. Well, here's the aftermath, you guys. Got a shredded belt and a broken mount. Don't even know where the bolts are for it. All right, guys. So backstory on what happened was I was driving home from work and I wanted to do a small little pull. So I did a pull on this freshly paved road, like brand new road that just got uh, just got paved. And it was a first gear pull. I did first gear, spinning a little bit, and then caught second. And then all I heard was a big old boom. And I'm like, no way. I just blew my trans. And then I'm like, let me check all my gears. I'm putting in the car all the gears. Nothing. I mean, well, all the gears are working. So I'm like, all right, it's not the trans. And then I continue driving. And then I get to a stoplight. And then I continue to, uh, you know, proceed and put it in the first and take off. And then all I hear is, Koo! I'm like, what is that? And the first thing in my head, I'm like, dang, something popped off. It might be my mortar mount. Because I did feel... When I first started my car, when I was leaving my job, I did feel like the, the motor jumped a little bit, like it jumped forward. And I was like, hmm, what, what is that? So I turned off the car and redid it, and I didn't experience it again. So I'm like, oh, it's nothing. I should have got off the car and checked to see if the motor mount was loose, which it was. And uh, yeah, it caused a whole bunch of destruction. Well, not that much destruction, but it ended up destroying my sympathy team belt, and it ripped out the bolt and the stud. I guess you call that a stud that you know usually goes into that post mount right there. Hopefully you guys can see. Usually goes right there. It ripped both of them out. As you guys can see, the threads are not not even there. They're kind of there, but not there. So yeah, man. In today's video, Dusty is down. We're gonna be swapping that out, replacing the serpentine belt as well, the idle pulley, idle idle pulley, sorry, and also the auto tensioner because that as well got messed up. If you guys can see, auto tensioners kind of scratch. There you go. You guys can see the scratches. And uh, I don't feel like putting a new belt on that. Because I feel like it's just going to destroy the belt too. So, we're just going to replace all three of those things. And actually four of those things. It shouldn't be hard. Uh, everything looks like it's really, act like you could just get a wrench and crank everything off. Um, I'm going to remove this mortar mount and put back the stock one. But I also have to go find the bolts that fits the mount because yeah i can't reuse the boats and i can't use that stud because i don't even know where that stud is at but yeah that's for today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to do that and uh hopefully it doesn't take me all day because this is not something i wanted to be doing on a sunday i wanted to be relaxing so yeah let's get done let's get to it all right guys so now you get a better look on where this mount is this post mount that you use to mount up your passenger mount so there goes all the bolts this one in the middle, you don't have to remove, right? Oh no, actually, yeah, you do have to remove. All right, so there's five. There's one, two, three, four, and actually no, there's only four. I always think there's five because of this, but yeah, it's only four. Just remove these four, and then this whole mount right here comes off. Boy, oh boy, it's super hot outside. But uh, got this off. Here's the new one, as you guys can see. This is the old one, and uh, yeah, pretty easy to take off. Um, if you do need space to remove this to move this one right here i recommend you jacking up the motor just a tiny little bit and you'll be able to get that out but yeah that's out that was pretty simple now we're gonna do the pulley the tensioner and the belt that should be pretty easy hopefully it doesn't take me more than an hour gotcha bitch all right guys so what you're gonna do you're gonna take your 14 uh wrench and if you have a, a half inch breaker bar you want to use that and then you're just gonna pull it back as you can see, the tensioner starts to move. 
See that? And then you'll be able to pull off your belt. So I already done that. Now I'm literally just gonna move it all the way to the bottom and just take it off from the bottom. All right, so the next thing I took off was the idler pulley. That sits right here. It's only 114, you crack that off. This back plate's gonna come off with it. Just make sure you don't lose that because that's gonna be going on your new one. Um, my pulley actually didn't sound bad. Like you can't really hear it, but it's actually pretty smooth still. But I just wanted to replace it because I don't know the the like the lines, the grooves look kind of kind of rough. So yeah, just wanted to replace it just just for some reinsurance. But if yours look fine, then I guess you could leave it on. Or also you could just spin it when you take the belt off and see if it make a sound. If it make a sound, just replace it. It's really cheap. Um, I'm gonna use a Gates one. Same part number. Looks exactly the same. It's a little bit thicker from what I see, but for the most part, it's exactly the same. All right, guys. So I'm sorry I'm not doing a very good job documenting exactly what I'm doing, but everything is basically pretty simple. Um, this is an old tensioner. We're gonna remove all these bolts. It's one right here, one right there, one right there, one right there. So let me show you where it's at on the motor. So you remove the middle bolt. This side bolt, this bolt, and this bolt's hiding, so you're gonna have to look for that one. And also, this bracket right here is gonna be on top. You're gonna remove these two bolts that's here, so it's one here and one there, just to remove this bracket out the way and to be able to access the bolts behind it. But yeah, it's a fairly simple thing, bro. Like, no lie, pretty easy. It's just like really hot today, so I'm just trying to get it done so I can go inside and uh, relax. Plus, I need to go find uh, bolts for my motor mount. And uh, that's going to suck because I don't know where the hell I'm going to find that. Hopefully AutoZone or I'm going to go I'm gonna go to uh, Vance Hardware. Actually, no, nah, I'm not even going to go to Vance Hardware. I'll probably go to Home Depot. And if Home Depot don't got no boats, i go to Vance Hardware, I guess. So, yeah. Plus, they close at 6, Vance Hardware. So, I got to get this done, like, ASAP. Five minutes later. And boom, you guys got it on. New pulleys on, new tension is on. Um, for the auto tensioner, you don't have to like readjust it or anything because it's you know our auto tensioner. So all you need to do is just put the belt back on. Everything seems very smooth. This actually sp spins pretty nice. So yeah, we're gonna put everything back on and be on our way. That's how you know I'm tired because I never say be on the way. I usually say we almost done or something like that. But yeah, we're almost done. So uh, just gotta put the pulley back. And then the new, not the new, the OEM mount uh, bolts. And that's really it, bro. Almost done for real, for real. I'm not gonna lie. Installing new pulleys in your car, it's different. I don't know, something about it. It just looks really, really nice. Like, I don't know. It just looks super nice. Even though the new one I got does have a little scratches on it. But it doesn't really, like, affect anything. But, yeah, it just looks really nice. Makes the, makes the motor look newer. And boom, just like that, you guys. New pulley is on, new belt is on. Um, when I was telling you guys to remove this bracket, it's because this bolt right here, dang, I can't even show you guys really. This bolt right there, and this bolt on the top right here, you're gonna need to remove that to actually access your tensioner. Once you remove that, you'll be able to take out the bolts for the tensioner. Like I said before, it's three bolts, but these two, are going to be the ones that's going to be in your way that one that one that these two are for the brackets these two is for the actual uh the pulley yeah so it's going to be one in this corner right here one behind this bolt one right here and then you're going to have to take out this one that bolt right there hopefully i was able to show you guys the the exact location for the bolts if not i'm trying to find some links and put in, put it in. The, ah, I'm so tired, bro. I want to try to find some links to put in, put in the description so you guys could see how you do it. But it's actually a pretty, in, pretty easy install. Just time consuming if you don't know exactly what you're doing. The belt was pretty pain in the butt. Uh, basically, what you're gonna do with the belt, you're gonna put it on all the pulleys but the auto tensioner. And then when you get to the auto tensioner, you're gonna wanna put it over the tensioner, and then put your, uh, put your, your 14 mil wrench and it gets your breaker bar or whatever you're using to get that tensioner loose then you're gonna slide the belt on it's pretty easy i can't really explain it well but 
you'll see when you're actually trying to do the install. It's it's pretty easy. It took me like probably 30 minutes to actually like think about it. I'm like, bro, why is this belt not going on? And it's because the tensioner was already tightened. You had to loosen it by pulling on that 14 mil bolt with your breaker bar and your 14 mil. You pull it back, you slide the belt on, you let loose, and then you just make sure everything is lined up. You touch it, see if it's tight. I got pretty good tension on this. So yeah, I'm gonna keep playing with it, making sure everything's is good. But yeah, after that, it's pretty solid. I don't remember me showing you guys, but here's the belt. Yeah, this belt was done. Look at that. Come on, I don't know why this camera is so hard to focus on stuff that's right in front of it. But look at that, done. Sheesh. Garbage. All right, guys. So day, well, technically this is like day seven, but this is really day two in video terms. And uh, Dusty is up and running. I've been driving her to work, by the way. Um, I'll show you guys actually on how everything looks. Like I said previously in the video that installing new OEM parts just hits different. Like it really does. Don't mind how dusty Dusty is. Like I have to remove that. Or actually, no, I just got to clean this up. The valve cover is all shot up and just disgusting. Yeah, I just need to give this car a nice little wash. But as you guys can see, got the new belt on. Still says Continental on it, which is pretty cool. I thought like, you know, as it's spinning throughout the week, it'll just rip it off. Well, not rip it off, but like, you know, delete it. And uh, it did it. But yeah, everything's on. Everything's solid. There's no wobble, no play. The car sounds so much quieter, you guys. I didn't know that my pulley and my auto tensioner was the stuff that was making a little whining noise. I honestly didn't think it was that until I turned on the car after I installed everything new and I didn't hear no noise, just the injectors. It's pretty crazy on like what an auto tensioner and an auto pulley could do to your car and like how, how it makes it sound. Even your belt, replacing your belt, there's a big difference in like how your car sounds. Not like talking about like how the engine sounds, but like how in front of the car sounds like you don't hear no weird screeching noises you don't hear no whining noises everything's just really really solid but here's a little update about this mount um if you guys remember i was selling this torque solution uh upper pitch mount and i'm still currently selling it but i'm also waiting for my hasport mount to come in because i did order a hasport mount so when that comes in i probably don't do a install video because it's pretty damn simple and to install it um, if you watch my innovative videos, basically the same process. Only thing that's different is that you have a bracket that goes from the passenger mount to right here where the up, upper pitch mount is. And that's only thing that's really different. But yeah, that's going to be changed. So if you guys are interested on a torque solution upper pitch mount, hit me up. I'm selling it for cheap, 50 bucks. Come get it. If you want me to ship it, I'll ship it off. But yeah, I'm not going to need that in like two more weeks. I literally just gave Dusty a quick little wash. Well, <laughs> wasn't really quick. I took my time on her because she was filthy. No lie. She was really, really dirty. And she looks good right now. Like, super, super good. Woo. I love this car, guys. This car is just like, it's crazy from where it started to how it is now. <sighs> you wouldn't even think it's the same car. But, yeah, bro. This thing's fire. Crazy. called Honda to see how much one of those bolts costs and one of those bolts which is an M14 by 47 is $15 from the local Honda that's by me I was like $15 for a boat yeah definitely didn't go buy that um, I went to my local Advance hardware I mean Ace Advance or Ace Advance hardware Ace Ace hardware which is local in Florida I don't know if you guys have that where you guys live but in South Florida we have Ace hardware I went to there and I got myself an M14 by 40 and an M14 by 45 uh, bolt, 1.5 pitch thread, and it fit perfectly. Saved me, saved me like 10 bucks, bro. I think I paid three dollars or two dollars for both or something like that. It was something pretty cheap. And these are some strong bolts, like they're super strong. I made sure there was like the strongest bolts you could buy. And yeah, bro, no issues. Been ripping the car, hitting pulls left and right. And uh, 
I'm not hearing no clunky noises. Everything's solid. The boat's not backing out. I'm happy. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to end off the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And uh, by the way, I do have merch like the shirt I'm wearing right here. It is on the website, uh, www.zubigarage.com. I have this in the hoodie as well. It's pretty fire, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put some pictures right here if I can. But yeah, your boy's out. Peace.